Hi guys, good morning, this is Dan. Welcome to Angle Guys. For those of you that are new, welcome. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. And for those of you that support me over on Patreon, thank you so very much for your subscriptions. If you're interested in subscribing to the channel and supporting it in that way, you can go to patreon.com and look up Angle Geist. Over there, uh, there are so different subscription levels that get you the daily forecast a day early, plus other readings that are only available over on the Patreon page, depending on the level that you choose. If you have any questions about the Patreon page or about booking a private reading, you can leave me uh, a, you can message me at the Facebook business page and I can answer any of those questions for you. Um, beyond that, please feel free to leave any questions or comments on the video wherever you may see it and I'll try and answer them as long as I see them. This is a broad spectrum reading for the greater collective, therefore it is for you uh, when you see it, right? It is originally created for Tuesday, December 22nd. So for those of you that are regular viewers, this would uh, make sense for that day for you. But for those of you that are watching it on a date that's not December 22nd, the message may still have validity and still work for you. Um, uh, so don't necessarily turn it off just because you see the day and you're like, wait, no, it's not that day. Uh, so all of my messages are set with the intention of being for the greatest good or the highest good of the greater collective. Therefore, when you see it is when you're supposed to see it kind of thing. Uh, if you do watch any of my videos and decide to make a decision in your personal life after having watched one of my videos, know that those decisions are your responsibility. Always trust your own intelligence and intu intuition first and foremost over anything I may say. Never take what I say over a professional in their field like a doctor or lawyer or therapist. Um, always listen to their information first and foremost, okay? That's kind of important to say. So let's get into this and see where we're going this week. We've got quite a bit going on. We've got Winter Solstice kicking off. Um, we've got uh, the Great Conjunction of Saturn and um, Jupiter moving into the sign of Aquarius. And we've also got um, Christmas coming. So it's quite a bit. So let's see, what do we need to know? Okay. <laughs> we've got the Eight of Swords. So some of you guys that watch regularly, let me know, are you guys going through some of this stuff that I'm talking about here or what's going on guys? Cause I feel like there is a little bit of struggle bus energy. There's nothing wrong with struggle bus, right? Um, but I will say this, like we had, what did we have? We had the seven of wands, the seven of cups, and then the justice card. And it's interesting to me because justice is usually also depicted with a blindfold, right? So the Eight of Swords is a woman that is sort of uh, traditionally in the art. She's surrounded by eight swords that build like kind of a fence around her. And she's usually bound or tied up and blindfolded. So she can't necessarily see, able to make a clear decision, feeling stuck, feeling trapped, that sort of a thing, right? Uh, kind of like in her own prison in a way. But what she doesn't know is that there's a like there's a space in between the swords that she can easily slide through and kind of remove herself, right? When I look at this, I feel like this is the swords. Where's my pointer? This to me is the swords. It's like our, our heart, our stomach, our chest might be tied up in knots a little bit, kind of going in different directions. We're unable to maybe make a clear, decisive decision because emotionally we might be feeling some type of way. Yesterday we saw the three of swords, I believe. Yes, which would also be that mind-heart connection too. Um... When I look at this, I get two distinct impressions. One is I want to talk about how we maybe don't feel like we can make a clear decision because we don't know the answer because we can't clearly like sort of relate to it emotionally or connect with it emotionally. We can't get that clear answer from where we're at emotional in an emotional way. I also get a feeling that in some of this, I feel like she wants to be blindfolded. Like there's something maybe we don't want to see or we don't want to look at that we might be trying to struggle against and avoid. And that could be the barrier that we're creating around us that we normally see. That could be what's creating this sort of tumult or uh, chaos within us where, you know, we're holding on, we're resisting acceptance of a certain situation. I, I almost feel like, and this to me is where this is triggering off that justice card, 
Is that it's like she knows underneath that blindfold what she needs to do. Is she willing to commit to it? And that's kind of the vibe that I'm getting. And I, I know that we've been on this sort of um, theme of release this week with these cards. But to me, that's uh, what I'm getting. We've got that Seven of Wands underneath this, shifting into that Seven of Cups, which is also confusion, the inability to choose, um, maybe having one too many options or feeling emotionally like just distraught and uh unable to make a clear decision. And we see that again reflected here in this Eight of Swords. But I also feel like there are some of you, and I don't know who I'm talking to, but I feel like there are some of you that have chosen to place this blindfold on. Like, you're like, if I don't look at it, I don't have to see it. It doesn't exist. It's sort of the feeling that I get. Um, I, it makes me wonder, like, where in our lives do we do this? And not that it's a bad thing. I just think that it is, is it the most productive thing for us right now? Is it the thing that's going to solve, um, uh, not solve our situation, but is it going to bring us peace? And I don't know that it is right now. I feel like it's sort of tying us up in knots, uh, conf further confusing us, making us feel emotionally like, you know, um, not unstable, but uh, certainly not at ease, right? And so something has got to give here is my feeling. And so do we want to be the one that makes that happen? Or do we want sort of the universe to kind of uh, make that give take place? And that give is that justice card that we see at the week's end, right? That's kind of my feeling with this. And remember I said on Sunday's reading when we saw the justice card that it could be served up as a truth that we maybe don't want to see or didn't otherwise know about, but it can also be served up where it's a truth about us or what we've been doing. Um, and when I mean by do we want to be the one that sort of effect, like ushers in this change or do we want to have this change kind of happen to us, that's kind of the hard lesson that justice could, justice could serve us if we're not ready to sort of accept what's going on. Does that make sense, guys? So I just need to sort of say that out there because Justice can come in and bring her own sort of um, truth. And sometimes that truth can work for us very much so and be an exalting sort of powerful more moment. But sometimes it can also not work necessarily work against us, but it can hurt us at times too. And I feel like for those of you that might be in resistance or have chosen to put the blindfold on today and not deal um, or avoid, then justice could come to you at the end of the week and force you to look at it. And that would make it all the more painful, I, is kind of the feeling that I'm getting. So let's see what the song of my heart has to say. I do not stand alone. We've seen this woman a lot this month. Like the ancient quarry trees of the Waipura forest, I grow in the light of sisterhood. So when I look at her, again, I see the color green throughout her entirety of her body, which to me speaks about like healing and growth. I like the strength that I see in the three, uh, uh, three trees, those three tree trunks in her um, like sort of abdomen throughout her entire chest all the way up to her throat, going from her root chakra to her throat chakra. So not only is it like sort of what we are, are grounded in, it's what we sort of feel emotionally, what we sort of love and how we love, that sort of those trees sort of grow up through those chakra systems and then we communicate that love outward through the fifth chakra. So I like that. Um, I also, the three trunks, and this is something that I'm first noticing just this time after seeing this card three times this month, is that I, it gives me a little bit of three of cups vibes in the sense that we've got those three trees kind of coming together, like the three women and the three of cups. So to me, there could be an opportunity to celebrate here. When I think about I do not stand alone, I think about yesterday's, what was it, the phrase from yesterday, change needs strength. 
we are strong, stronger than we probably give ourselves credit for. That's sort of also some of this denial that I see in this Eight of Swords of some of us fear that we're not strong enough to handle the truth or not strong enough to make the changes that we need to go about making that we're kind of avoiding and we're putting this blindfold on instead. We need to understand that we are not alone, that we can do this, that like say our higher self, our higher power, our God, our guides, all of those sources of inspiration and help are with us. We are not alone in making these changes, in making these attempts to sort of uh, hopefully better ourselves in our situation. There's nothing wrong with that. Remember that uh, grounding stone from this week is that idea of promise, sort of in the sense that we have not only promise as in like the ultimate kind of opportunity of what's out there and available to us, but also maybe there's a promise in here from our guides or our God or a promise to ourselves that we made a long time ago that we need to live up to, right? And so we need to do that and we need to realize that we don't stand alone, that we can do this on our, um, from within, pulling on, you know, the strength that we saw needed in yesterday's card for the change that needs to come about. <sighs> I get this feeling that some of, I don't know which of my viewers are hiding out <laughs> or, you know, maybe I'm hiding out and I'm trying to figure out where in my life. I mean, certainly I have done that in the past, so there might be something in here for me too, but let me look at what the grounding stone is. All right, we've got clarity. So we need to ground in clarity in the sense that it feels like this is the antithesis to what this Eight of Swords represents, right? If we're putting blinders on or we feel like we don't have all of the information, that we're not being told the truth, that we're being given sort of misinformation that's leading to our own confusion, we need to not um, accept that. We need to not entertain that. We need to not focus on that. Yesterday's stone was focused. So we need to be aware of where our focus is. We need to be it focused on the possibility, not the problem, so to speak. That would be that stone of promise that uh, goes throughout this entirety of this week. This clarity would say, ask us to remain clear on that, remain clear on where we're strong, where we're capable, where we're able to move through this stuff. I like that we have this sort of jumble of kind of these these feel like they're going like eight different directions like you know we're sort of maybe bound up but we have this clarity growing through her in these in the source of these three strong tree trunks that goes up through her body so when we realize that we're not alone if that means relying upon our guardian angels our guides our own higher self right our own spirit contacting that spirit maybe this blindfold could represent going inward closing our eyes and instead of closing our eyes to a situation in an effort to not to see it go inward and find that door find that door in the fence right free yourself from this eight of swords moment and grow right understand that you're not alone that you do have a higher self that will lead you to whatever the solution is that you need or whatever clarity is that you need to get yourself to this state of understanding and hopefully free from whatever it is that we feel bound to tied up by stuck with um uh uh, engaged in that we no longer want or that no longer serves us, even if it's comfortable, even if it's familiar, even if it's the thing that kind of, you know, we're like, okay, if I remove this, what goes in its place? That's kind of the feeling that I'm getting, guys. This is, um, I think that it's also, like I said, and I said this uh, yesterday and probably on Sunday's reading too, is I feel like the cards are asking us to let go of the things that no longer we no longer need moving forward. I really think that's the case. And um, hopefully you're able to do that. Um, I think that you are able. I think that when I'm looking at these cards, it might just feel like it's a little bit harder work than we're maybe wanting to deal with after such a hard year. 2020 was rough on everybody emotionally, mentally, uh, even spiritually, right? And so we might feel a little bit, you know, tired or beat down or upset, but don't, um, I don't want to say, it's not like it's, we're giving up, but like, don't um, keep pushing is kind of the feeling that I'm getting. And keep aspiring to more, keep focused on that promise, keep this clarity about you and continue to grow, continue to pursue sort of your light your healing, your growth, and um, allow that, you know, 
allow yourself to detach from anything that hinders you, that confuses you, that aggravates you. And it's okay to do that, right? Um, that is my reading for you guys today. Uh, hopefully it makes sense. Please leave me a comment if any of this is resonating with any of you because I'm interested to see because these feel like very strong cards that are very much in theme with this idea of addressing whatever it is that is um, mucking us up in a way. And so uh, the cards are not letting me get away from this message to you guys, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I hope that it is resonating and landing with whoever needs it because I feel like you definitely need it. And you're being reminded that you're strong. You're being reminded that you can be clear. You're being a mind, reminded that you're not alone, that you can do this. And so um, I want, hopefully, for you guys through these readings to understand that so that you can make the changes that need to take place so that you can have that freedom that exists out there for you. All right, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed the reading. Um, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Share the reading out with whoever you see fit or whoever could use this. I greatly appreciate it. Um, if Again, if you have any questions in regards to private readings, feel free to message me at the Facebook business page. We'll see how this energy uh, changes tomorrow and where it goes. And I look forward to seeing you then. All right, have a great day. Bye-bye.